Beach. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Julia Espinosa at the First Alert Weather Center. This morning we woke up to a blanket of cloud cover, specifically right alongside the coastline, and it did burn off late morning, early afternoon, leading to partly sunny skies right alongside North Point Conception with plenty of sunshine down south. The biggest difference has to do with the wind. So we are seeing this ridge of high pressure developed across southwest California. It continues to strengthen going into tomorrow and it will be leading to the warmest day out of this entire work week when it comes to the interior valleys out towards the mountain areas. They will be running about 5 to 10 degrees above average as the majority of daytime highs are expected to be reaching the upper 70s, potentially a few isolated 80s. Now for the coastline, it is going to be a bit tricky because we are being ruled with the occasional night to morning cloud cover. We're also seeing the determination of those winds along with this ridge of high pressure. So for the coastline at this time, looks like we're going to be seeing very little change from day to day. Temperatures still running pretty mild in the 60s to the 70s. As we go towards your Thursday, onshore flow does begin to strengthen just a tad as that ridge of high pressure is going to be weakening. But after that, we're still dealing with those very gusty southern, uh, northerly winds, especially down south. So we are under a wind advisory for southern Santa Barbara County, for the coastal areas, out towards the mountains as well. We'll see gusts up to 40 Five miles per hour. Now, as we go towards your Wednesday afternoon, this wind advisory does expire at 3 a.m., so we're going to be taking a bit of a break, but it is expected to return once again as we go towards your Thursday and Friday, where by then we are going to be seeing the potential for those wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. So here's a look at the track of the winds. Wednesday morning, 8.30 a.m., for the most part, we are relatively calm. It's just Gaviota that's going to be holding on to those very gusty northerly winds. Heading out towards your Wednesday evening, going towards your Thursday morning, you are seeing it much stronger right alongside the passes out towards the mountain areas. And with these type of wind gusts, we could be seeing our out power outages. We could be seeing down trees. So something we're keeping a very close eye on. As far as the rest of us, as we go towards your Thursday and Friday, as winds are shifting northeast, it does allow for less of the cloud cover and it does allow for quicker clearing. So your future fog report showing you maybe some visibility issues going towards your Wednesday morning, but it does does burn off pretty quickly. Everyone's seeing that perfect 10 going towards your late morning, and we do have a batch of clouds right off the coastline, allowing for those partly sunny skies. But overall, it is going to be a pretty comfortable day. Santa Barbara will be warming to 73 degrees, Carpinteria 72, nice and comfortable along with those above average temperatures, at least inland. The closer you are towards those areas alongside the central coast, you could be feeling the difference. As we are going to be talking 60s, Vandenberg 64 degrees, out towards Morro Bay 61, San Luis Obispo 70 degrees, and then back down into Ventura County, we will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s. That's a look at your forecast. Make sure to tune in tonight for the latest weather details.